Domínguez. The awake intubation. We would like reporting about the blind method of the awake intubation, which in many cases has been successfully completed. The technique of the method by landmark. We should block the superior laryngeal nerve whose internal sensory branch and external motor branch provide sensory innovations between epiglottis and vocal cords and uh, motor innovations to the cricothyroid muscle. In our case, we used the superior laryngeal nerve block for anesthetizing the airway for awake blind intubation. The block is performed by infiltrating local anesthetic one centimeter below the greater corner of the hyoid bone. This is where the superior laryngeal nerve divides into its internal and uh, external branches prior to the internal branch entering the thyrohyoid membrane. For this blocking procedure, we usually use 4 milliliter of 2% lidocaine. And after puncturing the creek thyroid membrane, we used to use instilling 3 or 4 milliliter of 2% lidocaine into trachea. It results in coughing the patients, which leads to the fine anesthesia of the tracheal mucus. Then we insert in the tracheal tube through nasal cavity. At the same time, for blocking nasal mucus, usually we use ter turn percentage lidocaine spray. At the moving and the tracheal tube, after reaching the oropharynx, we inflate the cuff of the tube. It results in raising the tip of the tube toward the vocal cords. Before inserting the endotracheal tube into trachea, we use so-called air probe. It means that moving the endotracheal tube forward will listen for breathing the patient. After making sure that we reach the orifice of the true glottis, Moving the tube forward on feeling the resistance, that means we are in front of the orifice of the true glottis, we deflate the cuff of the tube for intubation the trachea. For making the process of the intubation less traumatic, we keep the tube in the hot sterile normal saline. It leads the tube getting softer. But one should be more attentive checking the temperature of the tube before procedure for avoiding the burn of the tracheal mucus. After intubation, we inflate the cuff and begin our anesthesia.
for making the process of the intubation less traumatic, we keep the tube in the hot serial normal line, at least the tube getting softer. But one should be more attentive to checking the temperature of the tube before procedure for avoiding the burn of the tracheal mucus. For smooth inserting the tube, we use lidocaine gel. After intubation, we inflate the cup and begin our anesthesia. Sometimes, for sensitive patients, at the time of inserting the tube, we used to use 30 or 40 milligrams propofol for sedation the patients. Having used propofol in minimal dose, we could keep the spontaneous breathing of the patients. This method was used for the patients with lingual tumor or oral cavity and the patient with ankylosis or contracture of the lower jaw because these patients cannot open mouth. As you know, in these pathologies, there is no possibility to intubate the patient through the oral cavity. The intubation procedure through the nasal cavity can be followed the nasal bleeding. The bleeding can cause the lung aspiration. In this case, no need for worry. We should lower the head side of the operating table and uh, sucking the blood, we can continue the intubation procedure. I used this method on more than 100 patients and took good results. Only in one case during procedure, we observed the nasal bleeding. In that case, we used the above mentioned modified method. I would like remarking that this method is very simple, safe and cheap because there is no need in using fiber bronchoscope or tracheostomy. Doctor Turgyanov Adamon Matsatarovich работает анестезиологом реаниматологом 16 лет. И 9 лет как работал он в арабских республиках анестезиологом реаниматологом. Недавно он заново поступил к нам на работу и неоднократно показал нам интубировать с больным сознание. И это очень гладко проходило и очень эффективно помогал больным. Доктор, скажите, пожалуйста, какие особенности этого интуба? Да, Мазара Альфина. Это интубация сознания, этот, э, про этот метод все они слуги должны знать. Потому что иногда больные нам попадет, больные не может открывать рот. У них э, Опухоли, ротовая полость, и у них анкилоз э, в телесных суставах, контрактура низней челюсти. В таком случае мы должны больным э, помогать на, на высший уровень, и не всегда, не всегда и не везде э, мы не можем... Э, помогать бронхоскопически интубировать или трахостомию поставить больным. Это метод без трахостомии поставить, э, это как сказать, без, э, без травма и без э, бронхоскопически помощи спокойно можно больного интубировать. А второй метод, это односторонняя длительная спинальная анестезия, тоже хороший метод. Вот односторонний спинальный, длительный спинальный анестезия, я свой жизнь э, принимал, э, вот долговременный опыт, я этот метод принимал больше 2000 больных. В последнее время я привык э, к этому методу, односторонний длительный спинальный анестезия, потому что я от этого метода э, беру который эффект, который я хочу. А интубация сознания... Свои опыты я принимал больше 100 больных, тоже хороший результат получил. Эти методы не очень тяжелые, просто а, про этот метод надо иметь знания и опыт. Мы должны делать этого, и у нас получается все нормально. И вот, и вот метод intubation uh, awake uh, condition 
Uh, I use this method uh, more than uh, 100 patients in my experience. I take uh, I take it good result. And uh, one side long time action uh, spine analysis. Uh, it is a good method uh, because uh, decrease uh, dose uh, of anesthesia anesthetic. Uh, uh, drugs and uh, long time action it is uh, for uh, it is effect for all the anesthesiologists uh, want the unilateral prolonged spinal anesthesia using UPCA is based on the position of the patient at the beginning anesthesia for anesthesia, we use hyperbaric anesthetic solution, for example, booby pacaine mixed with 8.25% glucose. On the lateral position of the patient, after puncturing the spinal cell, we render the anesthetic and keep the patient on the same position within 5 or 7 minutes. At least the hyperbaric anesthetic solution anesthetizing the subjacent side more intensive and prolonged. Using this method, we could reduce the anesthetic dose twice. Reducing the anesthetic dose twice is not leading to reducing anesthetic effect. At the same time, we could reduce the life-threatening hemodynamic side effect. After taking common position on the back by the patient, the second side of the body gets anesthetized more superficially and uh, for the brief time period. In my practice, I use this method on more than 2,000 patients, and I get used to use this method because forming this method, I get the effect which satisfies me. As you can see, we get the, the fine unilateral plunge and a sad effect. We can watch that anesthetized leg cannot move, but the opposite leg is moving. Now, we can change the patient position to the back or to the opposite side. If any questions, uh, you can uh, send uh, my email address. If you have any questions, you can send my email address.